Bleak House, a la Shmuk. You can tell right off the bat that this isn't going to be a happy journey, mainly because it has Charles Dickens' name on the cover. Oh, and because it's called Bleak House, not sunny time happy home for Bunny's house. Bleak House is a story of murder, suicide, betrayal, love, fear, and smallpox. Not only is your soul going to ache a bit when it's over, so are your arms, uh, because this book is huge, like it weighs a ton. Why does Bleak House need to be so darn long? You may have heard that Charles Dickens got paid by the word. What the Dickens? What's wrong with my hand? FYI, if we got paid for the word, you'd need some bucket of popcorn to get through this video. But that's an urban legend, kind of like the one about the lady putting her dog in the microwave. <clears throat> it's a legend. Dickens did not get paid by the word. However, he did get paid by the installment. People eagerly awaited each monthly installment of Dickens' cliffhanger-filled stories. Can you imagine having to wait a month between each chapter of your favorite book? You'd either have to read each as it came out, or wait for the giant volume to be released and spend a weekend binge reading. Even if Dickens wasn't paid by the installment, Bleak House would still be super long because, well, that's just how the Victorians rolled. Novels of the time were often of epic length. You'd need to rent a cart and a donkey for a trip home from the bookstore. To haul back the works of the Bronte sisters, Jane Austen, Victor Hugo, Leo Tolstoy, and the others. They didn't have TV back then, so what else would they do besides read and write? Plus, lifting these heavy books is a great way to tone your upper arms. Even though long books were on vogue back in those days, Bleak House was especially dense. It's Dickens' version of an epic. Dickens does Homer, if you will. Needs more Cyclops. It deals with philosophy and philanthropy, issues of social class, and a bunch of creepy birds straight out of a Hitchcock movie. Dickens shows us London life from all sides, from all points of view, from every perspective. As we said, pretty epic. In the most traditional sense of the word. What the Dickens? What's wrong with my hand?